guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a very lovely day. Today's video is going to be a homeware haul for you, plus some um, thrifted bits mixed in there as well. I'm so excited for this video because I'm just looking around me at everything I've got to show you and it makes me so happy. Do you know what I realised? You know there are so many people, my husband is one of them, that are like winter people, Christmas people. It's just there in their spirit. As soon as it gets to that time of year, they're like in their element. Well, I feel like I've always known this, but it's now super confirmed. I am a spring person. Like that is when I come into my own. March is when I start to feel so happy. I love the pastels, the flowers, the prettiness, the bows, the bunnies like oh, I love this time of year it's just beautiful to me and it's just me through and through and I felt like I need to start embracing that more because I feel like sometimes I try and tone it down a bit but I can't because it's who I am and if you've watched my channel for a long time it's just who I've always been it's just like part of my soul you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute but anyway we'll get into the haul in just a second but first of all I want to say a big thank you to today's sponsor Fussy I can't wait to tell you about Fussy because I know you're absolutely going to love this brand if you've been looking to um, get away from using an antiperspirant and use an all natural deodorant that actually works then you have to give Fussy a try first of all just on aesthetics alone these are the keep cases they come in four other colours but obviously like I'm gonna go for the blush colour I absolutely love it but I have a colour to suit anybody you get the case and then obviously you keep this and then you put your refills in so these are the refills once you've used them the case is completely biodegradable and compostable I have currently got the scent cloud nine which smells like cotton sandalwood and vetiver it is absolutely beautiful their fragrances they're not just these basic scents they they're almost like perfume scents they're so so beautiful it's just a really fresh pretty not overpowering but just a really nice um scent it's hard to explain but it smells very sophisticated but sweet at the same time but if you go onto their website you'll be able to see all of the scents they've got and they've got like um three different scents in each one so you can really get a feel for what you're going to like when you receive yours it's super easy you just take off the lid you squeeze this little part and it pops up. Take off the cap of your little refill and pop that inside. Add this part back in till it clicks. And then you can roll it up and there you have it. How cute is that? I absolutely love it. It looks so sleek and so pretty. But as I said, Fussy is all natural. It's vegan, it's cruelty free, it's free from parabens and aluminium. So you know you're using something that is safe on your skin um, and if it's good for the planet at the same time. But it's got to actually work, hasn't it? Some people stay away from natural deodorants because they're worried it's not gonna actually work, but Fussy lasts for over 24 hours. And not to get too sciencey and technical, but Fussy uses a probiotic called Lactobacillus, I think that's how you say it, which basically inhibits the odour causing bad bugs via the application of good bugs. So it's very sciencey and technical, but it's so good. It's just a win-win. It's good for the planet. Um, you can get your refills. You don't don't have to keep getting new cases you can choose a different scent every time and find the one that you really love it smells incredible the scent lasts for ages it works for over 24 hours I just can't say enough good things about fussy so that's why I really wanted to share them with you it's a brand that I absolutely love and they've very kindly given me a 15% discount code off your first order so I'm gonna pop it on screen here Kate M 15 will get you that 15% off so go after the video and check out fussy have a look through the scents pick your case and take advantage of that 15% off and let me know what you think so now let's jump into the homeware and thrift slash charity shop haul okay so I'm just gonna jump straight in with TK Maxx this may be a mix is it a mix of TK Maxx and home sense I think it's just TK Maxx um but it's the same thing, TK Maxx, Home Sense, same thing. So the first thing I spotted in there, which I fell in love with, was these bowls. Bowls? I said that really weirdly there. <laughs> so as you can see, they have the really gorgeous bobbled edge. Um, but what I love about these are they are melamine. So I feel like they look 
like china um but they're going to be great for the summer for the garden we can take them outside without worrying about them smashing they're good for around the kids as well but then if we do have any like summer get-togethers or parties these are going to be really nice to put like crisps in or salad in i absolutely love this bowl it's beautiful um and that was 7.99 i just think when you've got kids having something that's melamine is just such a bonus <laughs> so i saw a few things in this I got a set of three little bowls. They will be good. Where's the other one? Here. These will be good for dips. Um, so they came as a set, exactly the same sort of style. Really gorgeous. Um, and they were $5.99. Um, this little bowl, this says it's a condiment bowl. Do they have uses? Salad bowl. Didn't even look at that before. So you get it. Salad bowl, dip bowls. This one is a condiment bowl, but obviously it would be good for... Oh, this would be really good for like chips and salsa. You know, like nachos and salsa or guacamole. This one was $7.99 as well. And again, how pretty is that? I love the bubble detail on, um, on China and stuff. So I thought it would be nice to get those. Oh, I obviously am very keen on this bubbling detail um, because <laughs> look at this. This is so gorgeous. Um, I fell in love as soon as I saw this. I've wanted one like this for a while with this bubble detailing on. It's a little cake stand, obviously, or just like a display stand. I have it in the middle of the dining table. I love the colour of the wood. Um, it's so, so pretty. This was $12.99, which I think is an amazing deal for this. How, 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 how gorgeous. Then I got this little oven glove. Um, I noticed the other day we still have our Christmas one. It's not too Christmas in your face. It actually is very similar colours to this, but it has little fir trees on it. So it's not overly Christmas, but I noticed it was getting a bit grubby. Um, and I was like, actually, that's our Christmas one. So I felt it was time to get a new one. This is lovely. It's by Rain and Humble. And it's just like um, a quilted oven mitt. What was, was I saying oven glove before? You know what I mean. Um, it was $5.99. They do some really nice ones in there. Now, this that I've got wrapped in here, I thought was so cool. I feel like I've seen them before, but I've never realise what they do so my friend katie ellison has one look at this it looks just like a little fish jug but they're actually called gurgle jugs or guggle jugs or gurgle jugs but basically you fill them up with water um and then when you pour it into the glass juice water whatever you want it makes like a glug 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 sound <laughs> i haven't actually used it yet but i thought it was so cool guys i had to just quickly insert this clip here because I was excited to try my goggle glug 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 jug for the first time. And it doesn't glug, it's just a jug. So if you were thinking of buying this one because of what I said, and you want it to make a glug 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 noise, then don't buy this one. But there are ones online that aren't too expensive um, that do, so. <laughs> Still cute though. I'm sure they sell these on like anthropology and stuff for a lot of money, and they had different sizes and different colours in TK Maxx. This was $16.99, which I, I do think is pricey for something like this in there. Um, I'm not sure what brand it is, but I'll have a look online, because like I said, I'm sure the exact same ones on more expensive websites are pricier. Oh, now, I will just go over these quickly, because I know by the time you see this video, Easter will be would have been and gone so i haven't really included any eastery bits but i just really wanted to show you these bunnies because i fell in love with them um they're so so beautiful if you look up close they're all little flowers so i put these um around the cake stand on our table as a little easter centerpiece um they were 7.99 each and they're just something that i can get out every single easter or you know you don't have to just have bunnies at easter i just think they're lovely but you know traditionally they would be for, for Easter, wouldn't they? So I also got the baby a Spots Easter basket book just for his little a little Easter gift. That was $4.99. I also picked up some clothes in there. Um, so this one is really random. I don't know what you're going to think of this one, but I thought it was beautiful. I'll need to try it on at some point to see if it works. It looks very night nighty-ish, but it is actually a dress. Really gorgeous, satiny, like lavendery, lilac-y, beautiful slip dress 
obviously you could wear it as a nighty, but it's a nice thick material. Um, I feel like in the summer when it's really hot with a white blazer over it, it could look really cool. So this was $16.99 and yeah, it's originally Hollister. So I thought that was cute. And I also got this jumper, which again, very me. So this is by Jessica Simpson. I actually see a lot of Jessica Simpson stuff in there. I don't know if in America it's still a thing, but like obviously Jessica Simpson was huge in the, the noughties, wasn't she? I don't really know, but I love this little wrap over. I have a few wrap over jumpers, but this one isn't one that you tie. It's just done as a wrap over. It's the most beautiful pink color, really gorgeous for spring. It was reduced from $19.99 to $16 for some reason, and I got a small, so hopefully that'll be all right on me. But yeah, I just thought they were both so pretty, I couldn't resist. So, I think that's everything I got in TK Maxx. Something else might pop up in a minute, I don't know. Um, yes, it will. <laughs> Last thing from TK Maxx was this absolutely beautiful, um, uh, what am I trying to say, hand-drawn floral illustration. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. It's in a really lovely black frame with gold like piping around it. This was $19.99. I think I'm going to end up putting this in our room. I'm not exactly sure where it's going to go yet. Hopefully you can see it without the lights if I bend it down a little bit. But it's just so gorgeous. It's not too over the top, but it's still floral. But it still fits in with like our decor. So... I grabbed that. They had some beautiful vintage art prints, horses and so many good ones, but I'm running out of space to put them. So I stopped myself, but I couldn't fully stop myself. Um, some of you may have known from my previous homeware haul. I'll link that in the description box for you because it wasn't that long ago. We're currently doing Elliot's bedroom up. I'm going to show you that soon. I can't wait to show you. My dad's been building his bed around the bunk bed that he already had. It is so cool what he's done. Um, but we're not quite at the decorating stage yet. But I did grab these two cushions from um, Matalan. So they're just check. They're really, really gorgeous. They were £10 each, which I do think is quite pricey for these because um, I'm actually not going to use the inserts. I just want the cases. Oh yeah, there is a zip. Because I know these inserts are very soft and snuggly, but they're just going to go flat in two seconds, especially with my kids. So I'm going to put some feather ones in. So it was quite pricey seeing as I just wanted the cases, but they are definitely the vibe that we're going for. So I grabbed those and I, I really do love the print of the, the check print. Right, I'm going to go into some thrifted stuff to show you because I just love a charity shop. I love it so much. I know I say thrifted and I'm not American, but I do think it sounds cooler than charity shopping. <laughs> so, so excuse me if I do say I thrifted this. You know I got it from the charity shop. I didn't just pop over to America. Obviously, great to give back to charities and I love popping in there and seeing what treasures I can find. So, first of all, in recent times, I've become a little bit obsessed with buying um, thrifted bedding. Um, or fabrics because I really want as a hobby to get into um, sewing and making some clothing but I probably it's not something I'll probably ever sell I probably wouldn't be good enough at it but just for myself and just as a fun hobby so I've been buying up some really gorgeous like linens and cotton fabrics when I see them in charity shops because I think they will make really cute dress prints so first of all I found two I think they're two single sheets they're so soft obviously i'll wash them all and everything but like that's one pattern so cute and that's the other side um i think for both of them i paid like four pounds so they were two pounds each i think and they're exactly the same so i think you could get like make a really cool dress and have like layers on it or tears on it some in this print some in this print really cool Oh, this was at the bottom. See, I thrifted them a while ago and didn't, haven't got them out. And then I found this. This was from Eleanor Hospice and it was £4. And it's just a little, again, it's like a wrap over. So, yeah, it's a little bit hard to show you um, just because it's not done up. But it's one where you pull this through and then you can tighten it and then you do it in a little bow. I just thought for £4 it was really pretty. And I love being able to shop 
in the charity shops as well because obviously it's good for the environment it's good for your bank balance it's good for the charities so it's a win-win then i picked up from british heart foundation this is just a little george um cardigan but I'm really into this kind of thing at the moment. I love wearing, wearing them with a pair of jeans and ballet flats. I liked the little collar on this, like a scalloped collar. This was four pounds. Um, yeah, it's just quite a small little, almost cropped cardi, which I thought was really pretty. Um, this one is a bit unusual. I haven't tried this on yet. I might like hack it in some way, maybe take this part off. I don't really know. I think that's for the back. But anyway, I got this little minty sage green top, which was originally from Two, which is Sainsbury's, isn't it? Um, so again, a bit difficult to show you. I'm gonna try and go back a little bit. It's a little top. It's got all these cinching in little side bits, which is cute long sleeves and it's got this little sleeve on it as well with the tires um a little bit of a lace square neckline i thought it was cool i might do something with it i'm not sure did i just say how much it was it was also four pounds so i got that i love the color and i loved the uh vibe then you may notice a little pattern here <laughs> i got some corduroy bits i seem to be really into corduroy for some reason so I got this corduroy shirt, look at the cuffs, how cute, so it's got little frills around the neckline, this was also from the British Heart Foundation, it was £3, it's a size 14, I tried it on though and it's pretty small, so that's why you can never really go by sizes, I think it was originally Matalan, um, sorry it's not done up, it would be better for me to show you it done up, but I think it would look really nice worn open as well with, you know, just like an open with a little white top underneath it or something. But that is so cute, like look at the... I love the fabric of that one. And I got these, these were a bit of like a, should I, shouldn't I? But I do actually love them. I just, they're a little bit more vanilla -y yellow than I would have liked. I would have liked them to be white or cream, but can't be fussy. This was from Scope, these were from Scope, sorry, and they were five pounds. They're a buy a brand called CKS. I don't know if you've heard of that, but I think it might, be a belgian brand maybe because they were designed in belgium so they are a belgian brand they're just cool they're corduroy little trousers they're quite a nice length i'm preferring longer lengths at the moment high waisted but then a longer leg um instead of a crop so i got those they fit really well they're a size 36 which is an a i think well this just says small but yeah, they're really cool, I like those. And then I promise this is the last corduroy item, but probably the best corduroy item. Look at this dress. Oh my God. I will wear all these at some point, maybe in an Instagram, because just holding it up, I know it doesn't do it justice, but look at the, th the frills. It's a gorgeous little long sleeve corduroy dress, buns at the sleeve. Um, it's got a nice inched in waist. It's like um, just above the knee. This was a denim Miss Selfridge, size 12 again, but it's tiny, it's really small, so maybe it's been shrunk, that's something you do have to watch for. It was six pounds, I tried it on and I was like, oh my god, I love it so much, it's so, so pretty. So I got that. I also grabbed this, which I tried this on, this is my least favourite just because I don't necessarily love the style of it on me so but it is nice i just don't know maybe i could do something different to it this was a seven pounds dress from river island originally but um i got it in scope i'm a sucker for broidery on glaze it's one of my favorite fabrics especially white in the summer like it is really pretty but i'm not sure like that strap with the cold shoulder suits me for some reason but anyway i do love it Maybe I'll wear it with a little jacket over it. Was it a dress or? Yeah, it's a dress. So, yeah, I'm sure I'll find a way to make it work. It is very pretty and looks brand look new. It looks like it hasn't been worn. Finley actually picked this up and I was like, oh, that's actually a beautiful book. It's my big book of transport. It was £1.50 from Deborah. Um, yeah, I love books that obviously look nice, but they've got to be interesting for him as well. And he's really getting into cars at the moment. So that was absolutely perfect. The illustrations in it are really gorgeous. So I love that. So cute. 
grabbed that and then I should have shown you this with the first batch of fabrics but I have been collecting them for a little while so they're kind of all over the place I found this um this is also bedding but it's a really lovely soft cotton it was five pounds from Marie Curie um really pretty white with pink little roses um and then I also found this set these are little napkins I love the scalloped edge there's like eight of six or eight of them they've got um embroidery on them these are gorgeous and I'm going to use these as napkins but this I'm actually planning look at this tablecloth I know you guys might think I'm mad but there's a method to my madness I'm actually making a little top um with some of the is that the right way around yeah like some of the embroidered pieces and it's look at that green scallop I just thought this was so so gorgeous this one is lovely so that was four pounds I know I'm probably not showing it to you to the best of my ability but you can kind of see it now this one I actually found online on um on vintage this one is super special it was more expensive but it's the sort of thing I was looking for this is all I think it's from America you know and it's all hand embroidered it is stunning again it's a tablecloth but I was hoping to use different parts of it to make maybe a top or the top of a dress or something like that it's really really stunning I did actually end up paying about 20 pounds for this so I can't really say it was cheap um but for the amount of work that's in it, it is absolutely beautiful. The colours, the embroidery, someone who made this was incredibly clever. Then I've got a few bits to show you from Tiger or Flying Tiger. I never know the full name of the shop. I'm sure it's Flying Tiger. Or did they change it to just Tiger? I'm not sure. Um, anyway, this is a little make your own paper flowers kit. So it comes with all like the crepe paper and stuff. When I'll get a chance to do it, I don't know, but I just thought it was really nice and I thought that would make a nice spring gift for somebody as well. So that's lovely. Sorry, the fact that this fish has been in half the video is just cracking me up. Um, then I got the most beautiful little mugs. I couldn't resist. I have mugs for Christmas and mugs for Halloween and autumn. Um, so I felt that it was right that I had a couple of very special spring mugs. Oh, look at this it's so pretty I think they've got these in a few different colors and they definitely have the saucers did I buy a saucer sorry I did buy these a few weeks ago and I've saved them yeah, I did I saved them in here for when I could show you and share them with you and I forgot that I actually did get the saucer it's almost like a bowl it's very large for maybe it's not I don't know just seems like a very large saucer for a very small cup um you're going to get like a thimble of tea from that but they're very beautiful very me and then i did grab another mug in there as well because this one was so so cute it's a little gingham mug with almost like a tulip handle how lovely is that so i know i didn't need to but I mean, this one is kind of just cute if you want a little cup of tea. And this one is a little bit more substantial. I mean, you can see the difference in those. So, <laughs> one is very tiny. don't have the receipts for them here in the bag. I don't know what's happened to them. Maybe I put them in my handbag and now I can't find them. I'll try and link them below um, if I can find out how much they were. But they're very, very pretty. And they've got some really nice stuff. If you have a tiger near you, definitely pop in. So that is everything I wanted to share with you today. I really hope you liked this haul. It was so girly and floral and pretty. It just makes my heart happy. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Don't forget to head down to the description box now and um, check out Fussy for yourself. I know you're absolutely going to love it. Once you try it, there'll be no going back. Um, so give it a go and let me know what you think. Don't forget the discount code KATEM15 will get you 15% off your very first order. If you enjoyed today's video, please do take the time to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this coming up soon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a lovely day, guys. Bye. Mwah.